What is up gamers, Gamer Girl here, and welcome back to Life is Strange. Okay, so, um, we just exited the school. Oh, there's missing person posters again. Um, I guess I'll just wander around until... Objective, sit! This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. All right. Get a little existential there. Um, I can talk to a bunch of people, I guess, but I don't know. I guess. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Uh, I think so. I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. Ooh. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Um... Victoria? Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal. But she's not the only player. Now, how did you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Oh, damn. Well, I heard that from a good source. Uh, you knew Rachel? So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clip. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Damn, alright. Um, oh. I'm asking you to get my flash drive. I need some info in space. Hello, sorry for running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Cool, looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready to see you shortly. I hope so. Oh, alright. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Well then, looks like we have something to do. Where? Press to open my journal. Um, did I just, like, get a new thing? New page? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Bunch of new pages. <laughs> it's just supposed to be Nathan. Jesus. Alright, well, let's head to the dorms then, I guess. Uh, I believe it's this way. Go a little faster, please. Yeah, go to the dormitories. Okay. <laughs> okay. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Let's do that then. No. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off eating chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Alright. Oh, I don't want to skip everyone. I want to talk to some people. Hello, Victoria. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Ugh. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. This is some cinematographic view. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, 
Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Ugh. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. And I rewind to not interact with her, so, you know, there's no picture. No, alright. Can I just walk over her? There's, like, literally a space right here. Get lost. There's, like, literally a space right there. I could literally just walk past. Uh, alright, whatever. Um, I know what I have to do. Let's, okay. Oh, is that Kate? Yes, sir. Let's talk to her. I can't. Okay, cool. Well, then. Um, okay, I don't remember exactly the order of events, but I do know I have to mess with stuff. What yep. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice. Alright. But that's not it, though, because they're still right there. Yeah, so I need to rewind. Do a little. Oh, that's the. Okay, that undoes this though. So I need to tamper with it before. Okay, um. Hey, can you. Oh! Tamper with it? And now... Okay, let's see if this works. Yes. Now I need to go over here and use a water pump. I can sit that. Yep, there we go. And... Boom. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Victoria? We'll send you. Sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no? Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Jeez, hold man. On, hold on, we'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Period. Hey, Victoria, the paint looks great on you. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Okay, as much as I would love to make fun of her, comforting is the better option for, for the later route. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon esque. Mm, we're talking photographer photography with yes. her. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Mm. One of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Alright, well. Cool. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Yeah, no. This this was definitely the better decision. Comforting her instead of making fun of her. Something. 
nice place you got here. My favorite cocoon. Ooh. Oh my god, the basic wall of uh, freaking Polaroids, of course. Um, now where would that... Oh. Oop. Text. Max, the principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a black wall. Honestly, and is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me a so we can talk about this. Yeesh. I made the right choice! <laughs> At least I hope I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Um... Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I'll buy you a drive so I can watch some while I study. If you need back, just track me down in my door. Cool. Yeah. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Alright, as much as I would love to explore, I want to make progress. So, oh, can I leave, please? Okay, cool. Thank you. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh boy. Female drama. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Ugh, yuck. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Yeesh. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, I believe it's Watts. No. Uh, Watson? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. Okay, cool. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria. Huh. Of course. She saw the sex. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Well, where's her room? Also, I guess it's not that bad that you're being locked in your own room. Um... Is this... This is not nice. Yeah, I think this is Kate's room. Yeah, it better have good consequences. Um, did it say Victoria? Yes, it did say Victoria's room. Um, okay. Damn, everyone's got nice pad, nice pads in here. Um, okay. So, proof is in her room, I believe. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom. Yep. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor says, I to inform you that I totally punked Julia and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Julia that I sent nasty sex on Dana and Zach's phone. Dumbass believed me, and so I expect there to be a drum around page soon. Julia deserves for sledding Zach away from me. That's for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Alright, yeah. I need to print it. Uh, there it is. Printer. No. That's. Did I print it? That's the printer, isn't it? Mm -mm. Um, oh wait, oh, no, that was an option, okay. I had to do it on the actual laptop, which makes sense, I guess. I don't know, I figured I'd have to turn the printer on first, but I guess it's already on. Just take that. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Yes, sir. Oh, great, right, she's right across from me. I just noticed that. Oops, oops, didn't want to rewind, I wanted to run. Hey, hey, look at this. Juliet, read this. Of course. Mm-hmm. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dina. You are. And I hope so. You really think I mess around with Zach? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. 
You're like the Black Hole Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. Yeah. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Cool. Alright, bet. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Eh, don't ever do that again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Uh, Victoria's not nice. Nope! Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean, yes, he's a good guy, but what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you open the flash drive, yeah, can you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Oh, okay, you were just pointing out the obvious to me. Well then. Well, yeah, he... God, throughout this entire game, I swear, Warren gets friend-zoned like no other. I feel bad for the guy. He's nice. Uh, I don't mind waiting out here forever. I live for my life and the cars. So I'm wearing a text while I'm going to take on my way. Bye. Okay, cool. On my way now. Um, okay, this way. Shit. What? Ow, that hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Yeah, let's do that. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Boom. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Hell yeah. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Alright, cool. I got a text from Victoria. Uh, no. This. By the way, thanks for one of friends. Yeah, figured. Still don't know why you had decided to write it in all caps, but sure. Parking lot. Nope, here we go. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? This dude again. And leave me alone. Alright, yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna intervene because that is a better choice. I know that for a fact. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Good. Asshole. You bully me and then you bully Kate. That's not, not so cool. Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Yeah. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Nope, that's definitely the better choice. Although, in the other choice, it's like, yeah, you have proof. Um, but no, this is the better choice, intervening. Who cares if he's after me? I don't, I don't care. I'm on my way to the parking lot. Nice little cutscene. Okay. I'm glad I stepped in that time can't stand to see people being bullied. Yep. And hey, there's Warren. Hey, buddy! Oh, Max, check it out. 
What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Ah, Thanks. friend zone. No problem. You want to hug it? Girl! Check out my new wheels. So oblivious. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Ellen. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Uh, really? Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. Yeah. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Uh, yes, I guess? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, Ooh. which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. <laughs> ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, seen it? Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? <laughs> So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Uh that top one, faster person can't kill kill. That that is out there. I'm gonna gonna go with that one. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus babes with breasts. Oof. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast. We should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. No, let's go! Uh, I need to talk. Yeah, let's get it off our chest. I need to talk to someone. I trust Warren. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh no, here we go. You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. I told him the truth. Answer me, bitch. All right, all right. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should Get out of my face. Somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Coffee. Uh, take a step back. Yeah, first of all, get out of my face. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Uh, hey! Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells hey, get me your hands off of me! I am a female! Not the principal, Stop that. that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> oh, shit. Oh. Max? Chloe? Oh! No way. We know each other. You again. Oh, oh shit. Oh. If by got this, you mean getting punched in the face? Yeah, you got this. Thanks for closing the door with uh, for us. Yeah, so Clo that was Chloe in the bathroom. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Okay. Yeah, the fact that we didn't talk to her for the whole five years. Just pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Um, hopefully nothing. I have no idea. Well, both of those answers are wrong. I have exactly the idea of what he wants with me. He was freaking gonna basically freaking kill me for freaking reporting him to the principal. Uh, let's just say hopefully nothing, I guess. 
Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend only took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. Honestly. I'm not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Uh, I guess. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. Eh. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Uh, of course, only for Mark Jefferson. Ugh. Of course. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. Okay, you mentioned him so anyway. you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Yeah, see, that's bad. Let's just, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on me when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. No sense. Uh, Max! I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Yeah, Max, you kind of have to, like, not talking to her for five years and then not, not talking to her for, for being here for a month. That's, uh, that's bad. No. Shame on you, Max. I'm sorry, but no. Damn, our camera got effed up anyway? Man, are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. Man, my step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific, tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. You gonna lock your car? Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. <laughs> Damn, girl, you got a lot of posters. Like me, except mine are framed and spread out. My chill out zone, my step here, make sure of that. Damn, you got a, nickname, a lot of nicknames for him. Put on some music while I medicate. You smoking a joint? You smoking the marijuana? Alright, well, I'm gonna leave it. Well, I don't really need to pause. Um, I'm gonna leave it here, because it just auto saved in 30 minutes. It's almost up anyway. And I don't really want to start a whole nother thing, because I don't know how long that'll go on for. Don't really want to extend it further than it needs to be. And plus, this is a good place to end it anyway. So, anyway. Um. I mean, I really got nothing else to say. When's the last time I had to dig through Chloe's crap? Oh, okay. Maybe I should pause it if you're gonna give me a bunch of flavor text when I'm doing my outro. Alright. Um. But. What's it called? I made a decent. We made a decent amount of progress. So that's good. Got a whole nother scene change. Um. And, you know, quite a few more important choices. A lot of choices that were like, this action will have consequences, i.e. butterfly effect. Um, and I know for a fact I'm making the better choices because I, I know this game decently well. Um, there might be a couple here and there, though, that are over a bit. Like, there's this one part that's, like, super really big that you absolutely have to make the right choices. Um, and otherwise you're screwed. Well, not screwed, but I, I don't know. It ends up being an ending that's not good. Or not not good, but like, I don't know. It, it, it makes you feel bad. It makes your, your, your heart hurt. 
Um, but anyway, I'm going to leave you here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.